video is brought to you by Clusterfix. We do a variety of automotive instrument clusters and uh, ABS module climate control repairs. Today we have a uh, 2009 GMC Sierra and we're going to be demonstrating how to get the instrument cluster out of here. A little bit different than the Silverado. Mainly you're going to need three tools. Uh, one of them is going to be a 7mm nut driver or you can use a socket and extension. Uh, the next one will be a T15 Torx driver or a socket and extension and a trim panel tool which you can pick up at an auto parts store usually or a tool truck comes in real handy as well these, some of these clips are pretty stubborn um, I've already got all the fasteners out to speed up the video process um, make it quicker but um, first of all you want to uh, you're going to need to tip the steering wheel down um, first thing you can take off is this fuse panel cover it's held in by some clips and these tools make it nice because they don't scar up your dash. So I'll remove that, set it aside. And you can either totally remove this knee bolster or you can just pop it loose to get access to the screws that are there. So you'll want to, like I said, all these are held in by clips and they can be stubborn. Sounds like you're breaking stuff sometimes, but you're not. So there's going to be two uh, or three screws, two on this side, one, two on the seven millimeter and the one over here on this side so you'll want to take those three screws out and then from there also this duct work here you just put your trim panel pop tool you can just pry and pop and use your fingers to help you out and this comes out there's no wires attached or anything there you just gotta work it around it'll pop out and set that grill vent aside and there's one torque screw there there's two torque screws up here, one here, one here, and then this other piece of trim over here has got your switches and, and your other uh, pieces on it as well. You can just actually set that aside a little bit or unplug it and get it out of the way. And there's that other T15 Torx there. So that those four are out. And then you're going to want to uh, tilt your steering wheel down. You're going to want to have the key in the ignition here. Move your gear shift selector down, and now that those screws are out, this uh, trim panel bezel um, will come out. Just work it out of there. You move that out of the way, and on these, there's also a trim piece that fits over the cluster, and. This needs to be removed to get this cluster out of here without you know, scratching things up. And the clips on this can be stubborn. It's clipped into the cluster lens. Um, so you'll have to, I've already got this one loose, but um, so you get your tool in here and pry up, pop the lower part out here, pop the lower part out here. And then there's some up here. You're almost, you almost can't get a tool up there. You almost need your fingers in there and work on it, pop it out but you pull this out of the way and it looked easy because I already had it loose so there's you see the four clips that it pops into there um, so it's not bolted in there it's just clipped in there and from there now that that's out of the way there's just uh, four seven millimeter screws two on each side and uh, you remove those four and there's just one connector on the back you depress the locking tab and uh, after you've done with done doing that um, the cluster just tilts and rolls out and uh, some of the problems these have are the uh, driver's information center for the odometer goes dim and goes out as well as the gear shift display and that's one of the problems we repair on these uh, if you need to you can give us a call at 509-366-9009 or visit us on the web at www.clusterfix.com thank you